Acquiring new customers can always be challenging for businesses, and every penny that you spend should be accounted for Google Ads and your Shopify store can be very sensitive. Google AdWords is an advertising tool that focuses on a cost-per-click model of paying which you will be directing your customers to your Shopify website. In this tutorial, we will walk you through in setting up your Google Ads account, creating a Google Merchant account, and syncing your Shopify products to your Google Merchant account. In this way, your ads will show up on Google Search, and when a customer clicks it, they will be directed to your Shopify website. Before we start, there are a couple of things that you need to have. First is a Shopify plan, because we need to disable the password of your Shopify store, and you need to add a Shopify plan for that. At least one active product on your Shopify store. A valid domain, at least two publicly listed email address, phone number, physical address, and a public legal page, which consists of terms, refund policy, and the return policy. Once you have everything in check, make sure that you are using one email address for your Shopify and your Google account. In this way, it's much easier to sync the accounts. So, since you're logged into your Shopify store, what we need to do next is to create a Google Ads account. Just go to ads.google.com and sign into your account. If you haven't had created an account yet, select the new Google Ads account. On the next page, Click the switch to expert mode and you just continue to create an account without a campaign. You can create a campaign later after you have set up the integration. Confirm your business information by choosing the correct billing country, time zone, and the currency. Then click submit. So you're good in creating a Google Ads account. Let's not create a campaign yet, but what we need to do is to create a Google Merchant account. What's going to happen is that your products needs to show up on Google search, and you need to have a Google Merchant for it. Once a customer clicks your product on Google search, they will be directed to your Shopify website. Search for Google Merchant Center on Google, and the first link should be it. Look for the Get Started button and click it so we can start creating a new account for you. Again, make sure that you're logged in with the same email address that you used in creating a Google Ads account. Enter your business information. Enter your business name, country, and the time zone that you're at. Where do you want your customers to check out? Just select on my website, since we will direct our customers to your Shopify website. We won't be doing Google checkout for now, for that's going to be a different process. If you have a physical store, you can also check the option so customers will be directed to your store's address when they want to check out an item. For the tools that we will be using, we'll just go with Shopify. Just uncheck the invitations to test new features because we're not into that. Make sure that you agree to the Google's Merchant Center Terms of Service, then click Create Account. Let's set up the account. You can start by setting up the tax. You can uncheck every state and not charge any tax. But if you're required to charge tax by your state, then please do so. Let's do the shipping setup later 
since it's optional. We need to add our website first. Enter your store address on the field. At this point, your website needs to be free of password. This means that you must have chosen a plan on your Shopify for this to work. So as you can see, it's still unverified and unclaimed. What we need to do next is to install the HTML tag on your Shopify store. On item number one, you can copy the HTML tag that is generated and we need to paste this on the body section of your website. Go back to Shopify and click the online store. Under themes, click the action dropdown and select edit code. Make sure that you're on the theme.liquid file. Look for the opening head tag. Just press enter to put a space and paste the HTML tag that you just copied. Turn off the password of your store. Under the online store, select preferences, click the disable password, and uncheck the enable password on the password protection section, and click save. It should give you a prompt that your store is now live and visible to customers. Go back to your Google Merchant account and click verify website at the bottom. You should see the verified status. Then at the same position, click the claim website and it should be claimed. As you can see that the products has not been synced yet. The next thing that we need to do is to connect your Google Ads, Google Merchant, and Shopify. We can do that through installing an app on Shopify. Go to Shopify App Store and search for Google Shopping. Look for the feed for Google Shopping by Symprosis Info Media. This is going to be $4.99 or $5 a month and it comes with a 21 day free trial. That amount is so small compared to the service that this app can provide you. This is definitely worth it and you should have this. We will set it up this way for this is the fastest and the most convenient way in connecting all of those three platforms. So you add and install the app on your Shopify admin. You will then be taken to a different page. You'll be asked to sign in to your Google account. Just click login with Google button. Make sure that you log into the same account that you have created your Google Merchant and Google Ads. Allow the app to manage your Google AdWords campaign, manage your product listing for your Google Merchant, and manage the list of sites and domains you control. Choose the Merchant ID in the drop-down and click the Confirm Your Account button. Click the Yes, I've Enabled Programs button on the next page. So, it seems that we're lacking the shipping setup. So access the Google Merchant one more time and set up your shipping. Click the plus button to create a new shipping method. Enter the shipping service name and select the service area, then click Next. You can choose any of your preferred delivery times for this service, but for this tutorial, I'm going to select Set a range of delivery times. Set the delivery time and just skip the holiday shipping cutoff then click Next.
since I want this to be a free shipping, then I'm going to choose this option and click save. So we now have added a shipping service. Let's go back to the Symprosis website and complete the setup. Click the test shipping rates and it should be successful. It should give you a green confirmation that your Google Merchant Center has been connected successfully and all that we need to do is sync the products. You don't need to change any settings, just click the sync button below. Now that we're all done, all we just need to do is to wait for Google's approval. As it's shown here that we just submitted our product feed for the first time and it may take 10 hours for it to show up on Google Merchant. But once it is approved, you should see your product on Google Merchant. As you can see that this is the only product that's active on our website a pair of two black shirt. Again, the sync times may vary in how many products you have in your Shopify store. You can verify that the products has synced by going to your Google Merchant account and the products should be there like what's happening here. So since everything is all set with your customers activities on your website, slowly the data should show up on Google AdWords as well. So that's it. So that's the easiest and most convenient way to connect your Shopify store and Google Ads. Thanks for watching. Do you like this content? If you do, don't forget to like this video. Click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you will get notified in our next video.